Terry Limeron of TerryTalksNutrition.com is back with more health information that we can all benefit from. So how are you doing today, Terry? I am doing fantastic. I feel great. Uh, you know, why not? We have choices. We can feel <laughs> great or feel not so great, but that's all a matter of choices. And I choose to be great. I choose to be very healthy. I choose to be very happy. It's, they're all choices. Everything we do in our life is a choice. If you don't like where you are, make some better choices. I agree with that. Even when I woke up this morning, I thought, you know, almost something negative wanted to come into my head. And I said, nope, today I choose joy over everything else. And that's the way it's going to be. Absolutely. And uh, and so I love the fact that uh, you're you're on today. And we're going to start off by making a very positive choice. And I want to ask you right off the bat here, Terry, that, you know, there is a very serious and a very common health condition that many people have never heard of, and that's metabolic syndrome. So what exactly is metabolic syndrome and how would a person know if they even have it? Well, it's a condition that is caused by five, five different symptoms rolled into what we call the metabolic syndrome. It changes our metabolic function, our chemistry. And that is one, the first one is being overweight. And the more overweight one person is, it's more damaging. Uh, a larger waistline. Uh, many people have, you know, that pot belly or that beer belly or that bread belly. Um, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, um, type two diabetes. These are the conditions that make up what we call metabolic syndrome. Uh, our metabolic functions out of order based on all these factors that we have that make that happen. So by correcting them, number one, we can lose weight. That's a choice, right? Uh, even, even type 2 diabetes is optional. We don't have to have diabetes. People say, well, my doctor said I have diabetes. <laughs> but that, you're not diabetic. You just have too much sugar in your bloodstream. Now, where did that come from? Well, maybe because we ate too much sugar. Uh, the American diet is very, very high in sugar and refined carbohydrates, which eventually become sugar in the body because that's the only way you metabolize carbohydrates. And having an enlarged waist, you know, I don't like I don't like the old BMI. I like being able to say my waistline is half of my height. So if you're six feet tall, you're 72 inches, your waistline should be no more than 36 inches. Now, before I went on the keto diet, I'm five foot six, five foot seven. My waistline was 36, but I'm not six feet tall. <laughs> I'm not six feet tall. So just when you, when you, when you know how tall you are, and uh, most people do, uh, your waistline should be only half of that. Well, that's a good, that's a very good rule of thumb. It works perfectly. Yeah, my, mine is a lot less than that. And uh, I mean, I'm six feet tall. And I usually maintain a 29, 30 inch waist. Oh my gosh, that's super great. That's fantastic. You're really fit. Well, well, I get all I get all my information from Terry Talks Nutrition. <laughs> well, my waistline is 30 now. So well, hey, but you you look great, and uh, and and I know that you have studied this metabolic syndrome. So, how do you recommend someone to turn their health around? If they have, or maybe they suspect that they have metabolic syndrome. Well, the best herb today is berberine. B-E-R-B-E-R-I-N-E. Berberine. Uh, it's a uh, alkaloid. It's a pigment, very, very deep yellow color. It comes from various plants known as Oregon grape or golden seal. Golden seal is very, very deep in yellow color. Uh, that alkaloid helps to improve the metabolic pathways in the body to correct the condition of losing weight, helps to correct blood sugar levels. Um, it, in fact, right now, berberine is becoming the number one herb in America. Now for years, several years, curcumin was the number one herb in the United States. That has dropped down to about two or three. Uh, ashwagandha has been number one now for several months and has continued to be uh, but now berberine is really coming on really strong uh, because people are learning about it for type 2 diabetes, losing weight, uh, correcting high blood pressure, correcting high cholesterol, 
um, because our whole body chemistry is based on those factors. Most yeah. people have high cholesterol, high blood pressure, type two diabetes, overweight. So let's correct all those conditions. And berberine actually affects all of those conditions. It doesn't do just one thing, it does all of those things. So it's quite helpful that we can change that with just berberine and very easy to do. And well, well, what are the overall benefits associated with berberine? I mean, I'm surprised, you know, it, it it dawned on me when you were talking about the the herb sources and you mentioned golden seal. And I, I think back a couple of decades now and thinking, well, yeah, berberine was always found in golden seal, but we never really put a finger on its actual action in the body uh, back in the day. And here you're telling us that it's, becoming the number one herb because everybody's looking for a safe, natural way to lose weight instead of going the medical route, which is really a quick fix. That's correct. And in fact, it affects all the pathways. It regulates the blood sugar level. It manages the blood sugar level. It helps to reduce high blood pressure, helps to correct the blood sugar level. So type two diabetes. Um, but it, we can help ourselves even more effectively by having a low carb diet. Berberine is an outstanding herb and it really is highly effective. There are no known side effects. There's no adverse events. So it's very, very safe. Um, and the studies have shown that about 1500 milligrams of berberine daily, uh, has been a very good dosage and the high dosage is because some of these herbs and alkaloids are very, very difficult to be absorbed systemically. They're in the intestinal tract because we swallow them, but they don't get into the bloodstream. We can't absorb them through the intestinal lining uh, of the intestines. So they don't get into the bloodstream and circulate to the various pathways and cells in the body to have an effect. But now there's another way to do that. If you take berberine or any natural substance that allows it to be combined to an ingredient called gamma cyclodextrin, which is a um, which is a substance that's manufactured from starch by enzymatically treating starch and developing this uh, complex. And then when you attach it to a substance like berberine, you need only a very small amount, like 250 milligrams once a day, rather than 1500 milligrams. And it's absorbed like eight or nine times more effectively than the other form of berberine that does not have the gamma cyclodextrin attached to it. Wow. I mean, and I'm glad you brought that up because, you know, you know, all of you, ladies and gentlemen, this is about education. This is about educating you to not only improve your overall health, but also to help you shop better when it comes to natural remedies. Uh, Terry, you know, you, all right. So with the dose, with the berberine, how, if somebody's wanting to lose weight and of course those other element, those other uh, health issues associated with being overweight, uh, how would you recommend that they take this on a daily basis? Well, they only need one capsule per day, 250 milligrams that is complex to the gamma cyclodextrin. If you are using some other form uh, and here it com we come down to, to quality because not all herbs are the same, even if they have the same name. Uh, it depends where they're grown, depends on how they're grown, depends on the process. It depends on how they're extracted, depends on what kind of chemicals they use for extraction. Uh, there's all kinds of things that go into the process of making an herbal product that is safe for people to, to use as a supplement. Um, generally, most products are safe to swallow most products are not effective. So you have to find a very effective form of the herb that is complex to the gamma cyclodextrin, better absorption, better systemic ability, better stable, uh, it has so many other good qualities to it. So berberine has an effect on all of these pathways in the body that have an effect. It burns more fat. Uh, it actually burns them more calories. Now, I don't want people to think, well, I can eat more now because I'm taking berberine. That's not, that's not the way to do it. But if you want good results, have a good low carb diet. And I am, I am absolutely convinced 
the best way to go is a ketogenic diet. That is a high protein, high fat. Now, natural fats, good fats, not vegetable fats or seed oil fats, but all of the olive oil, uh, the, the avocado oil, the pecan oil, um, all the other macadamia nut oils, they're all omega-9 fatty acids, which are all fantastic. But olive oil beats all of them because not only does it have the omega-9 fatty acids, but it has about 20 different polyphenols that has an effect. And the countries where they use olive oil every meal daily, you know, they're consuming like 20 liters a year. In America, we eat less than a half a liter a year. Uh, the Mediterranean countries have one of the best diets in the world, Mediterranean diet. So berberine can be a part of that, but don't try to make berberine the savior and eat badly too as well. Yeah, and that's excellent advice, Terry. And ladies and gentlemen, remember, there's not a magic pill for everything. There are other things you have to focus on. And number one is your diet, but berberine has been making the waves across this country for multiple reasons that like you're hearing today. Now, Terry, someone with high blood pressure, high blood sugar levels that may be taking a prescription, uh, are there any concerns with potential interactions with berberine and prescription medications? There is no contraindication with medication. It's safe to take with any medication. Although I would recommend to your doctor or recommend that I would say, talk to your doctor, uh, don't go off your high blood pressure medication. Uh, don't go off any medication without your do doctor being aware of it and talking over the course of directions you're gonna take with your doctor. Um, you may need something in a medical, a medical prescription in order to be healthy. Uh, I don't know everyone out there and I, don't, I, I, I would never tell anybody to go off their medication. It's there for a reason. Uh, maybe you can start taking berberine and see the results. Now, give yourself two or three months on berberine. Uh, any type of supplement takes time, and as, as the drugs take time. So give yourself about three months on berberine, and you might see such an effect on your blood sugar, your blood pressure, that you won't need medication, and your doctor will say, wow, you're doing really good. Let's lower your dosage, or let's take you off. Uh, but do it do it the right way with your doctor. And that is that is very wise advice, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, you know, if you are taking prescription medication and you're wanting to try something like berberine, it's always smart to talk with your doctor so that way they know what else you are doing. And uh, and you never know, you may find that those uh, prescription medication dosages slowly start to be reduced over time because you're improving your health the right way. Terry, are there any other recommendations that you may have for all of us today uh, as far as other supplements or lifestyle changes that would be helping, uh, but would be very helpful when treating this metabolic syndrome? Well, first of all, lifestyle choices um, cause all of our diseases. So somehow America is choosing the wrong lifestyle choices because we are one of the most sick, sickest, well, out of 37 industrialized nations, we are 37th on the list for un how unhealthy we are. We're the sickest country in the world. Um, so we need to change our diet. I mean, it's not, you know, you can't lower your calories of the diet that is causing, <laughs> causing you the problem. You've got to really, you've got to change your diet. You got to, you know, we're eating way, way, way too much sugar. We're eating too much carbohydrates. It's all pasta, bread, cookies, candies, crackers. It's all the, the sugar, the sweet. Uh, and they load up all these ultra-processed foods and packaged foods with sugar. I say change your diet. Try the ketogenic diet. Don't just jump right into it, but make steps every day to start adopting more of the practices of the ketogenic diet or the paleo diet or the Mediterranean diet. They're all good. I like the keto diet because... I don't do well on carbohydrates at all. I, I cannot tolerate carbohydrates. Um, I gain weight really fast. I, I, I feel terrible. I get ugly and crappy and, and, and uh, I get irritable. I, you know, I, boy, they don't do well with me at all. So I stay, I only eat about 20 to 40 grams a day where most Americans are eating 300 to 500 grams a day. So I'm really low. 
but I eat a lot of good quality protein. I have a lot of fat. And if you're, if you're not doing well on the ketogenic diet, increase your fats. Fat is the diet and it's primarily a fat diet and a, a carbohydrate, excuse me, and a protein diet, no carbohydrates, no sugar, um, and then add the berberine or add other supplements that you feel are appropriate for your health. And you're going to, and oh, throw some exercise in there too, uh, because we need exercise, but nutrition is 90% of our health. Uh, in my opinion, uh, and get a good night's sleep. Don't try to waste the sleep. That's how we recharge our batteries. Hey, you, you plug your phone in at night because you want to recharge it, right? And we, we try to go on four or five hours of sleep. We're not recharging our body. Uh, I get eight to nine hours of sleep every night. I feel fantastic. I agree with that. I mean, if I, if I don't get my seven to eight in, I don't feel very good the next day. And, right. and, I, and, I, bel- and I agree with you when it comes to uh, carbohydrates. I do not fuel my body, especially when it comes to uh, my heavy uh, cycling that I do. I don't fuel my body with carbs. You know, I kind of follow the, the, the keto way to fuel my body and I don't have to depend on sugars. Uh, to, to get that boost of energy. There's other sources. And of course, you and I both know that's protein and healthy fats, ladies and gentlemen. And let me tell you this, you want to know more about Terry Talks Nutrition? You go online right now, head over to terrytalksnutrition.com, sign up for his incredible newsletter and search his massive database for healthy articles that are easy to understand and can help point you in the right direction concerning your health and natural remedies. And if you want to know the perfect uh, berberine choice to buy, well, you better stay tuned because I'm about to show you here in a second. We'll be right back. Berberine MedX Extra Strength from Terry Naturally is a safe and effective way to support optimal metabolic health. Berberine is known to support healthy blood sugar, cholesterol and triglyceride levels already within a normal range, plus cognitive, liver, and joint health. Berberine MedX is like no other berberine available because it features Gamazorb, an exclusive delivery system that has been shown to increase the absorption of certain hard to absorb nutrients by as much as eight times. Find it at your local health food store or at terrynaturallyvitamins.com. 